and welcome to another Geek IY, the series where I show you how to DIY geek style. In this Geek IY we are getting ready for Geekmas and I'm going to show you how to make this Ghibli inspired soot spray ornament. You will need to make your decorations, the logo or design of your choice, some felt in the colours you need. Now I bought my felt on Amazon in a big various bundle and it is so much cheaper than going to craft stores. Some glue, you can use PVA glue, tacky glue or Yoohoo glue, pretty much any glue that will stick fabric together and not sink in quickly. Needle and thread, any colour thread, pretty much won't see it because it will be sewn inside out. Some pins may be required. Uh, just pick that back up. Some glitter glue to make it a little more Christmassy, a bit of sparkle to your design. A marker in case you need to draw on any details. Some fancy elastic, I have silver. And a pair of scissors to cut out your design. You will also need to get something to stuff your design with. I have picked up some cheap cotton wool. Last year I used an old pillow, just took the stuffing out of an old pillow, so basically anything you can find to stuff. And something to use as a template to cut around. Most of my designs are circular, so I am using this round piece of cardboard. When you're ready to get started, you will need to decide on what shape you want to go for, for the overall look. And if it's round, grab something round to cut around as a template so all of your pieces are the same size. With the black, I obviously can't put marks on with a pen as a guide, so I'm going to use some chalk. Just basically anything you can get on the market. Because this is going on the inside so you won't see it. So there we've marked out our two pieces. Now I've cut out one circle for the design, but with this one I am going to make it a bit fluffy kind of looking, so I'm going to cut out the second circle but with jaggedy edges so it makes it look a little fluffier. So what I want to do is just cut out with a jaggedy, fluffy kind of edge to it. Now we've cut out our shape with the fluffy jaggedy edges. We need to make some eyes. So we're just going to fold a scrap of white in two and then cut them into a circle. Measure them up. They look like a good size, so I'm going to keep those to one side. So with this one we won't be able to sew it the usual way where we sew it and then flip it inside out because then all the spikes will still be on the inside. So we're going to sew it with nice little stitches all the way around and once we get to about an inch or so we want to stop and stuff the filling in and then we can carry on with sewing. The way I'm going to sew this is I'm just going to get the needle through the back and poke it halfway through the other side of the felt so it doesn't go all the way through so we won't see any of the stitches. Now we've sewn around the edge and left about an inch gap open. We need to get our stuffing, fluff it up a bit, and tuck it in. Make sure you get it right into the bottom. Once you have enough stuffing in, you don't want to sew up the hole. Just before you finish up and you've still got a little gap, you want to get your elastic measure out how long you want your elastic to be including a little bit extra to tuck inside snip it off 
give it a little knot and get a pen or something and tuck it on in making sure it's really in there and then carry on finishing your stitches up next we are going to glue on after we squidged them about a bit we're going to glue on his eyes so you want to grab your eyes find where about you want to put them and that sit sprite eyes are pretty close together and then get our glue because it'll dab up on the back press it down gently you don't want to press down too much of the glue it'll just seep straight into the fabric and then end up not sticking each side together now we just need to take on the marker and do some pupils on the soot spray I find that dabbing the marker is a lot better than trying to drag it across the felt. Then I like to give it a little snip over the top just to get rid of some of the excess fluff. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like, share and subscribe. Also say hello down below in the comments section, I want to hear your thoughts and I will see you in the next video. Bye!